So it's time for another Kong Skull Island toy review and we're going to be looking at This is it. This is the 8th wonder of the world. The Kong Skull Island 18 inch Kong Mega Figure. And man, this thing is awesome. He comes with a Monarch Soldier. So, let's check out the Monarch Soldier first. This Monarch Soldier is another core character. Nikolai Volkov. Yes, like the wrestler. AKA Dozer version 2. The head for this guy comes from the first version of Dozer. And the body comes from another core character, Recoil version 3. Now, how can we have Dozer without his main love? His bazooka. Dozer Versions 1 dossier on thecorehq.com says that his primary skill is Bazooka Obsessed. It's a dumb skill to have, if that's even a skill. Let's take a look at Dozer. His head is on a swivel, and his left arm can move all the way around. And the right arm is obstructed by a shoulder pad. And that's about it. He comes with his beloved, the love of his life, Bazooka. He has a peg on his back where his waifu, aka Bazooka, can peg in. He wears a solid snake headband, and he has a shoulder pad and wet gear. He also has a grenade on his chest and a ton of pouches. He also seems to wear a bulletproof vest. The straps go all the way to the back, and he has another holster right below his peg hole. We all know that he's Bazooka Obsessed. And he carries around a Bazooka. So he wouldn't be using this holster. That's definitely a recoil detail. He has elbow pads and gloves. Going down, he has a strap with a D ring at the end of it. Not sure what it's for. Maybe rock climbing to get to Kong or something? He has a pistol in his holster and it's sculpted to his right leg. His left leg has more pouches probably for ammo clips, and another pistol in a holster, but it's not painted. He wears knee pads, his trousers are bloused, and he's wearing combat boots. Now, we'll take a look at the big guy himself, the eighth wonder of the world, Kong. Kong's head seems to be on a ball joint. His mouth is a separate piece. His arm can go all the way around, and it can come up. He has a double jointed elbow. His wrist can swivel, but it's a little obstructed by his fur. And finally, his feet can swivel. His chest has some scratches, and he has some excellent detail on his mouth and eyes. I love his expression. His back shows all of his screw holes. Kong's left hand is in a grip position, so he can grab our Bazooka Obsessed buddy, Dozer. His right hand is in a fist. Since Dozer doesn't have any articulation on his legs, it did take some time to get him into Kong's hand, but it is possible. This is really good news for kids because I remember when my figures fought off big monsters, the monsters could never hold on to them. When I first saw Kong, I wasn't sure if I wanted him in my collection. He's hollow. He has Popeye syndrome on his forearms, and 
They also look like they're being held by strings because of the joints. Oh, and big toys always seem to me like they were meant for babies because of the size. But once I got him into my collection, he began to grow on me, and I really enjoy him a lot. He's so convincing that even my dog Blair was scared of him. Anytime I would pose him with his arms up in the air, she would just run away. I love this Kong figure. I like the texture on his fur, and I thought it was just painted nicely, but it actually turns out it's not only painted nicely, but it's also sculpted nicely. The shadows of the sculpted fur has a really nice effect, and it just has to be seen in person. Oh, and then there's the mouth. It's sculpted in this nice shiny plastic, and it makes it look like it's wet. So, Lenard really stepped it up in this toy line. Overall, these playsets are really cool. Even if they are rehashes of core figures and vehicles, I feel like they chose the best ones and plugged them into the line with the new monsters and two new head sculpts. The colors work nice, and the paint apps, like the scratched paint, is awesome. And then the monsters are super cool. You can't beat the price on these sets. The creature contact sets ran about 10 smackers. The storm strike vehicles ran about 14 buckaroos. And Kong himself ran about 25 clams, making him the most expensive one in the line. Now, since this is somewhat of an updated review, I do have to mention that now in the second market, these guys actually go for quite a bit. Now, are they worth it? I'm not sure. It depends on how much you would want these things. So as I said before, I would totally recommend these play sets and I would suggest that you guys pick them up before they're off the toy shelves. They make great display pieces and the details are really awesome. So I hope you like these reviews and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. This is the world. The Kong Skull Island, 18 inch mega figure. And man is. <sighs> I ran out of breath.